So I am just on the BJJ Fanatics website, and what's amazing is now we've already talked about uh, gravity is your friend, but there are two other instructionals that you might want to talk about. Recently, I had the opportunity to work with PJJ Fanatics guy, and now we have three instructionals out there. We have escapes and engineer for guys over forty. If you're forty or more, hey, dig into it. Gravity's your friend. Sit up sweeps. Been there for some time and is really, really getting a lot of attention. And then we have the smash the knee folding pass. Now that's one of my favorites. So if you haven't um, looked at them, take a look. BJJFanatics.com. Hey. I'm wondering, do you have a place where we could go to ask all those questions that always come up in jiu-jitsu? You are lucky. You are very, very lucky. Ask a black belt on all podcast platforms plus our YouTube channel. Um, what what I do is essentially I collect questions that you might have and the questions that I've had for all this time being on the mat and record them in, as a short individual episodes about three, four minutes long and just put them out there several times a week. So make sure you go, you follow, and tune in. Yeah, absolutely. Check it out. Um, Subscribe, download, all that stuff, uh, and get those answers to the questions you've always wanted to ask. Welcome to Raw Radio. We're live. Here we go. Stop moving around in that chair. I can hear it. <laughs> you lost all the rights to tell me anything after you stopped showing up to the episodes. Um, okay. <laughs> all right, with that. I'll see you later. <laughs> Luca. Yeah. Professor I, Luca. Yeah, I didn't miss that one. I've been listening to edit it, and um, there's some funny stuff in there. Uh, <laughs> he's a character. Um, and you sound awful comfortable without me, so that's good. That's good, too. <laughs> You're growing. I'm glad I could instill some confidence in you. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, so let's get to it a little bit. Because yeah. I haven't, I honestly haven't listened to the whole thing. I haven't finished it yet. But you were talking, we were discussing it. Yeah. And, um, and your takeaway was what? Um, you know, sometimes we got to do, we got to get stuff done. We got we to gotta do what is necessary to get the job done and get to the goal, you know. Mm-hmm. And that, that was one of the big things behind, behind Professor Luca. First of all, what an amazing story from Helio Gracie to just origins and, and being on a Gracie farm and so on. I mean, mm-hmm. if you don't know who he is, you know, he, he was all behind the scenes guy for the grab, for, um, um, for the Jiu Jitsu magazine, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, for the grappling magazine. So it, it and he done more than one. There was actually three magazines that he talks about. But but one of the things that really anchored with me during the conversation was, um, sometimes we have a goal. Sometimes we have a path that we choose, but getting to that path is never simple. Or most of the time, it's not simple. And sometimes we have to do things that we don't necessarily want to. Sometimes we have to do things that we don't like. Sometimes sometimes we have to learn new things that we didn't plan on learning. It's all to get to the goal that we have established. And I think most people are very hesitant about that part of the journey, especially when we have to go out of our way mm-hmm. and do things that we are not comfortable with. Um, and that's something he talks about in great extent, you know, having uh, to learn things outside of his comfort zone, completely things he didn't know, continue doing things that he didn't necessarily enjoy to stay within the jujitsu opportunity of writing, interviewing, talking to people, and honestly stay, continue staying on a mat and being involved in jujitsu community. Yeah. Um, you all, I think anytime you go on a new venture, um, it opens up all these boxes that you didn't know were there, and there's all these things that you now have to take on if you want to continue moving forward. And sometimes those things are enough to push you away where you're like, you know what, this isn't what I expected or wanted. Uh, I didn't know I'd have to do all this. Um, so you give it up, you know, so, such and such isn't for me, but a lot of times it's like, okay, yeah, if I really want this, um, yeah, I got to do 
uh, the necessary work that goes along with it. You know, if I want to be, you know, Travis Stevens talks about like he had to borrow a car and drive hundreds of miles and he, nobody was going to do it for him. So he could train with, you know, there was the, the people he needed to train with weren't around. Mm -hmm. He had to go find those people and seek them out. Uh, a lot of people wouldn't do that. You know, a lot of fighters hate road work, uh, dieting, you know, nutrition, all that stuff. Uh, and if you want to succeed, you long term, especially, you've got to do all that stuff that sucks uh, that you don't like or you didn't know about in order to, you know, get the fruits of your labor, I guess. Yeah, and it all really boils down to how bad you want it. I mean, that, I, I think that's what that that's how I look at these situations. That's how I look at life. How bad do you want it? And there's nothing wrong with saying, no, I don't want it at all. Mm -hmm. It's just this is where you, you know, forfeit the rights to complain and bitch and whine about things. It's just, it is what it is, right? It's, um, I, I don't know many people who are successful in whichever realm of life without the grind, the hard work. And we've talked about this many, many times on the show, right? Embrace the process and so on. It's not about the result. The result is a consequence of the actions and so on. I mean, there's so many different cliche sayings that we've through a round. Heard them all. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's all the same thing. It's all the same thing. You know, and sometimes, I mean, listen, I can tell you from my personal experience, like, you know, we, we opened Academy a few years back and, and the things that I had to learn right. to run the Academy yeah. is, is just freaking ridiculous. Yeah, we've talked about people who wouldn't even apply for an LLC. They were like, oh, that's just too much. Yeah. You know, it's too hard. You, know, you think you're just going to call some place that's, you know, that says for lease in the window and you can just open it up. Well, uh, you know, which I guess you can, but if you want it to be a business, you can't. There's well, more steps. And this really could go in many directions. It doesn't have to be a business. It can be a, a job opportunity that you always wanted to do, but you're unwilling to take sacrifices in order to start that job. You know, it could be, uh, you know, you wanted to lose weight, but you're unwilling to take the sacrifices to, you know, change your lifestyle. I mean, th listen, th this could go in a hundred different directions. It's, yeah. it's or not... you don't realize that there's things involved that it, it's actually work. This right. Is what my dream, whatever right. it may be, yeah. is actually work. Here, I'll tell, I'll tell you one that I failed over the years, over and over and over, and to this day, I... I, I I can't come get over it, playing guitar. I oh, have, really? Oh, I, I'd love to see that. Dude, I have a guitar it. at home. Yeah. I've had it for 14 years. Mm -hmm. 14 years. Yeah. I've tried learning how to play oh, a guitar. I'd love to sit in on that. You can't because I don't know how to play yeah. it. I, I, I've i tried multiple times. And I'm telling you, it's all me. It's all, I'm unwilling, impatient Mm -hmm. To sit down and really practice. Yeah, practicing, right? Pra I mean, it's, it's all practice. It, I don't have patience for it. I can freaking watch jiu-jitsu videos for hours. I can freaking study business for hours. I cannot freaking have enough patience to sit down and play guitar. Yeah, and you can probably watch people play oh, can, for hours. Listen, but I've, actually doing it is a different story. This is how stupid I am. Oh. I've subscribed. <laughs> so far today I've talked about how ugly you are, and now I get to talk about how stupid you are. <laughs> I've subscribed to, to apps which will teach you how to play guitar. You know? Oh, yeah. There's a ton I've of said them. That I've wasted money on all this, yeah, I mean, and I still a, don't know how to same, play. It's the same thing as, like, um, you know, jujitsu. Uh, you sign know, up to Academy, pay yeah, thousands of dollars, dollars, but you, you don't, don't show up? up? No, but what I was going to say is, you know, t 20 years ago, before the internet, it was you would buy magazines. Or book, books. Books, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then it was like people were passing videos around. Mm -hmm. And then there was somebody who opened a, a company of, you know, we're just going to shoot. We're going to shoot videos. We're going to have guitar players come in. We're going to shoot videos. They're going to explain their technique, blah, blah, blah. And now it is to where it is today where, you know, my Instagram, because I am a music fan, my Instagram feed, if I'm scrolling through videos, is pretty much – Music, jujitsu, and dogs. That's it. Those are the only three videos that come up. And, uh, you know, so it's, it's exactly the same thing. And, it, you know, people, people think they're going to sit down. They're going to learn. You know, you hear three-chord rock. They think they're going to sit down. They're going to learn a couple things. And then the next thing you know, they're going to be able to play all this different stuff. No. 
It doesn't work that no. way. No, no, no. I tried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, but but listen, I'm not. I don't have illusions about it. That's that's the whole point. Like mm-hmm. I know that I'm. This is all me. Like I don't have enough. I, I I'm not putting enough effort into this. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not. This is not a priority to me, and I'm okay with that. Right. So you, the what, guitar. How long have you had it? 14 years. 14 years. Does Carrie want it out of the house? Is it just sitting there somewhere in the house? No, it's a, you know, yeah. it sits in the corner. You know, it, it's there. It's collecting uh, dust. I mean, it is what yeah, it is. Yeah, you and I have a lot But of I common. won't give it up. I, I will not let you take it out of the house because I have this hope that I'm holding right. on to for dear life that one day I will do it. Yeah, mine's shifted. My The guitar that I don't play that is sitting in the closet, <laughs> now it's like, oh, maybe someday my son will want to play it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I played bass when I was younger and it was the same way. It was like, Oh, I wanted to do this thing, but shit, it's, it's actually work. You know? And I had some friends, I had friends that were like super talented and like excelled rapidly. And I was like, wow, you know, it, it, it just wasn't, I, I didn't have that same talent. So, um, but I didn't put in the work. Well, that's the either, thing. Right? Like you, yeah. I, I think you can have talent. You can have, you know, some of these, because attributes it, that will right. that will expedite your learning, yep. but you got you still gotta sit down, put the guitar right. in your lap, yep. and you gotta do the. But thing. I think when that learning is expedited a little bit, you have now you have a little more incentive. Where if it, if you start and at a struggle, and a snail's pace, it's like ah, oh, jeez, I'm never listen. And jujitsu is the same way, right? It's like jeez, I'm never gonna get good at this. Mm-hmm. These guys that started after me are better. Um, you know how come he can move like that and I can't? You know, because there's physical attributes now. Um, and it, it's like, well, do you want it? Do you want to get better? Do you want to learn more? Um, if you're here just for the community, we've had a recent conversation about that. That's great. That's fine. You know, I know you have a, a, an opinion about, like, <laughs> you should want to get better. Well, some people don't. Some people come here for different reasons. And um, and that's fine. But if you have anything worth doing, is worth doing well, right? There's that cliche, but also it's going to take work. There's no way you're going to get good at anything without working at it. And and unfortunately, sometimes things that you don't even know exist in that world pop up that you got to get better at in order, you know, mm-hmm. you want to run a business. Well, now you got to know about social media. You want to run a business. Now you got to know a little bit about insurance, you know, and all, you want to have employees. You got to learn how to manage employees, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, is that your very yeah. subtle hint <laughs> turn your headphones on um but so right and a lot of people are like oh shit actually i don't want to own an academy if that's what hey we we've know. talked to many of you have talked to a handful of guys who said flat out yeah. i want to do jujitsu but i don't want to deal with all that other stuff yeah right? i mean i'm yeah and, and that, again that's fine yeah, like, it's great. I'm complete. Like I am completely okay with all this. I think mm-hmm. this is all makes sense. Just I think what triggers me in my head is like when you say, "I'm not good at it." Well, when was the last time you were on the mat? Yeah. Uh, well, something came up this week, and last week I was on vacation, and week before that I had a headache, and right. well, and but how how different do you feel about those people when they when you say that and they respond with, oh, "I haven't put putting in the work." I haven't haven't been putting. See, in that's the time. a different. See, that's a different attitude. You, it's and you see, does that? So the, my you follow think up, differently about those people. Absolutely, though, right? yeah. absolutely, because they, 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 there is they, there is an acknowledgement of what didn't happen, and there is acknowledgement of what needs to take place. And this is where I will ask a follow up question. So, how will you change right. your actions for to 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 make that adjustment? You know, and and if that and see, I, I'm even more inclined to help somebody like that right. because they are they want to change. You know, somebody who comes to me and say, how can I help? What can I do? Can you teach me so I can help you? Like that instantly has my, and it has nothing to do with me. It has the fact that that, that drive, the hunger to learn new things, to, to get better at things, to achieve their goal. Like you, you have my undivided attention. I love that attitude. But the moment you tell me there is a 150 reasons why you are not here or you're not doing what you want to do. Okay, well, then I guess you have all the answers. I mean, I I don't know. Maybe yeah. I'm ignorant about this. I, I, I don't know. I, no, it's just a different way of looking at things, and people have different outlooks about what, what – we've talked a lot about being honest with yourself. And if somebody's honest with themselves, 
and they can realize that, okay, they're, they're not on the mat enough. That's why they're not getting better. Well, that's, then that's great for them. And then hopefully they can change that. You know, um, if they're, if they, I don't believe anybody doesn't know that. Like the people who aren't putting in the, the work and the time, they know it, right? I don't know. I think they do. I, I disagree. And I think they're going to come up with excuses and not be honest with you or your themselves. But I still believe they know it. It's it's in there. They got to know that the reason I don't know, that man. that I, I the sound- reason that this guy over here is getting better is because he's here always three days a week. No, and he's watching videos and he's working and he's on at open mat or he's asking pertinent questions. Um, I, honestly, don't I don't know. So? I, honestly, I don't know, man. You think people are that? I, I think there are some. At they're least, not self-aware to the point where they yeah. can live life like that? No, I I, I think there are some who yeah. will say, listen, I'm working hard. I'm doing the best I can. Everything is working yeah, against me. Think they know deep down. No, I don't know if they do because why would they be saying that? Because that's the easy way that's the way to not have to deal with you, your problem. If you repeat to yourself certain thing over and over and over, you're right. going to start believing in it. It's not a lie if you believe it. Well, that's the point, <laughs> right? Yes. So if they continue just saying these reasonings and, and points why it's not working, it's no longer I'm aware of the situation. Well, that's that, it, that stuff turns into like a self-fulfilling prophecy where you can live your whole life like that. You know, I'm not going to be good at it. And then you start taking the steps to never be good at it. You know, whether it's jujitsu or guitar or relationships, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter. I'm not good at this. And you start living your life that way to not get any better at it. Um, but I think that I think in moments of reflection, when they're alone, uh, perhaps it boils like, the- uh, you know what? I am. A, I am making excuse. I don't want to call anybody lazy or anything like that, but it's I am making excuses. I don't really have reasons. You uh-huh. know? I mean, if you're working, if, Is you're, it- if you're working. 12 hours a day, every day, and you're beat and you just don't want it, that's fine. That We get that. I, I you know, But if you're working 12 hours a day and you start saying things like, well, you know, I really wish I could be there. No, you don't. Then you're not being honest. Yeah. You know? I'm working 12 hours a day. I don't want to be there. Yeah. I want to be at home. Yeah. That's different. Yeah. You know? I was, when we were talking to somebody a little bit ago, Marcio Cruz came up and it wasn't about football mm-hmm. and it wasn't about beer, but listen to that episode. Cause he talks a little bit about when people come up to him with excuses I know. Yeah, and they want to quit. That. I remember that. I don't use that kind of language. Uh, but he had, he had something, you know, if you come up to him and you're like, yeah. I'm not getting better, man. What can we do about this? I, you know, he's going to help you. But if you say, um, I'm not getting better and I, I want to quit. And he looks at your attendance and you've been there twice in a month. You know, he knows you're full of it. Yeah. You know? And he's going to tell you yeah. a guy like him is going to tell you. That's like the, one of the mind reading skills that I think most of the instructors develop over the time when they see a student, mm-hmm. they know why their student is there, whether you want to train or you're going to quit very soon. Like you see these patterns over time and that's sure. what Cruz was talking about. You know, it was like, you know, that excuse is already there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's people quit for different <laughs> reasons. Some of them are to- totally legit, uh, and some of them aren't. And you can probably tell way before they oh, absolutely cancel their membership absolutely. that it's coming. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, that's it, at least you know in a great in a great percentage you can you can predict those. You can yeah, predict with those a high yeah, yeah. A high probability. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. I bet there's a high probability that we're going to end this episode soon. <laughs> <laughs> well listen the, the bottom line is if you have a goal if you don't set one but if you do i encourage you to really think about what will it take to get that mm-hmm. and really think about it and i don't mean you know oh i just need to do this no really break it down Really sit down, think about it, reflect on life, reflect on you, and see if it's important enough for you. Because if that goal is important, then you should be driving for it. And you should do what's necessary to achieve achieve that goal. Otherwise, it wasn't that important to you. I mean, that's what it boils down to. I don't care what anybody says. That's just my opinion. But that's how I look at it. You know, once I commit to something, I, I, I really make a point to do everything in my power to get to that goal. Um, but before I do, before I do commit, I, I really look at the big picture and really try to evaluate whether that's worth it or not. So, um, 
Yeah, what do you think? No, I think you should go home and play guitar. <laughs> no, 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 I can tell you that's not happening. Uh, I can't. I'm making next time I'm over. Uh, you're, you're not pull, invited. You're going you're gonna to take it out. You're going to play. It's it, Listen, it's next to the piano. It's next do to you the play piano. the piano? No, Carrie does. Oh, okay. She does. She She's actually very good at it. You but. guys could be an adorable little duet with you on guitar and Carrie playing piano. That would be a, that would be amazing. And what, Braxton and Kelton singing? Sure. Oh, we have a whole <laughs> new family. You'd have to uh, you'd have to change the name though because the the Radzinskis <laughs> no, doesn't, doesn't no. roll off the tongue. <laughs> 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 All right, let's finish this up. Let's go. Peace. Later. Thank you for listening to Raw Radio. If you enjoyed the show, don't forget to leave us a review and help us make the show even more amazing. For future episodes, check out our website and follow us on all major podcast platforms. Take care.